and they're off. Does your dog bite is one of the first to begin with Kustar Sibila in the blue and white jacket on the inside. Close up is Dad's in trouble. So too Catamaranda Soy and Champagne Classic on the outside in the maroon and white jacket. Does your dog bite rent uh, slightly right handed and took a bit of a flyer at the first but lands safely. Kustar Sibila on his inside as they jump the second. A big bold jump from Kustar Sibila. Gibral Faro has gone there. Rather B was brought down and hampered was Bally Hill. So Gibral Faro was the faller at the second flight there. Tom Bellamy on the ground. We'll try and catch up with the uh, the riders. At the moment, uh, one of the riders is certainly still down. Kustar Silver from Does Your Dog Bite? And then uh, Dad's in trouble. Catamaran de Soy on the outside. Verney back on the inside in the dark blue and yellow quarters. Up the inside is Lac Fontana, followed by Remy Luck in red and white stripes. As they jump the next run for Dave towards the centre. Uh, out wider, Dad's in trouble. And then Champagne Classic, Thomas Campbell, born survivor. Talia Telly just behind I shot the sheriff. Del Arca towards the inside, Battleford. Castello Sforza towards the rear, Bally Hill. Also, no comment held up. And Pan or Chocola is being held up as well. One of the loose horses veering away, but another one is still with the runners as they make the long run towards the next flight of hurdles and out on the far side Gibral Faro's rider is up on his feet Tom Bellamy as they go on towards the next waiting to see Charlie Deutsch rise rather be was uh, brought down in that incident going to the next Kustar Sivilla does your dog bite Verney Lac Fontana on the inside Catamaran de Soy is wider out in the checks then dad's in trouble from run for Dave and Tommy Silver Champagne Classic behind these from Remy Luck and I shot the sheriff born survivors in the midfield from uh, then Thomas Campbell Del Arca Battleford Castello Sforza and then on the outside Massini's trap followed by uh, then on the inside Bally Hill after Bally Hill, Talia Talia, and towards the rear panel, Chocolat, and no comment, and happy to report that Charlie Deutsch is up on his feet as well after that earlier fall. Down the back straight, Kustar Sevilla with Does Your Dog Bite in the black and orange jacket. Catamaran de Soy on the outside, Verney over, disputing fourth with Dad's in trouble. Out wide in the maroon jacket, Champagne Classic, followed by Tommy Silver in a blue cap. Lac Fontana, the dark blue and white jacket up the inside of the yellow sleeved eye shot, the sheriff, clearing the next floor. They're followed by Remy Luck and then born survivor Thomas Campbell getting a little bit of a hurry up on landing. Towards the back then Battleford still in the second half of the field, very much in the second half of the field, but so too is no comment as well. They're both being held up. Del Arcas towards the back, Talia Telly as well, and Massini's trap swinging left-handed. And detached now is Panel Chocolat struggling to go with them. Swinging left-handed on their way to three out, but still a very long way from the finish. And it's Kustar Sibila from Does Your Dog Bite and Catamaran de Soy, the leading trio. Verney is fourth. Champagne Classic on the outside then from Dad's in Trouble and Tommy Silver. Towards the back of the field coming under a drive is Del Arca. Massini's Trap's got plenty to do. And Pan or Chocolat driven along to little avail. Swinging the top left-hand turn now. And Kustar Sibila, who ran well here last year, continues to lead under Lizzie Kelly who was down on the ground in the Gold Cup and giving it a great sight here on Kustar Sivilla in the Martin Pipe Conditional Jockeys Handicap Hurdle. Does your dog bite a close-up second? Then Champagne Classic on the outside followed by Verney. Dad's in trouble next and then run for Dave. On the outside, no comment making eye-catching headway in the McManus Colours. White cap. Then in behind them on the inside, Born Survivor as they jump two out. Kustar Kustar Sivilla, I shot the sheriff pulling up. It's Kustar Sivilla, Verney on the inside. Champagne Classic, does your dog bite? Then run for Dave. Castello Sforza and no comment on the outside. Born Survivor, far side. Thomas Campbell running on, then Dad's in trouble. Battleford's got a bit to do on the long run to the final flight. No comment coming right over towards the stand side. But down the centre, Champagne Classic takes it up from Verney. Then run for Dave. Kustar Sivilla, Born Survivor. And then Thomas Campbell. 
Campbell. And Dad's in trouble, is plugging on. Here now is the final flight. Champagne Classic is going to rise in front under JJ Slevin. Lands a length and a half clear. Verney chasing hard. Thomas Cheeseman in second place up the hill. It's Champagne Classic from Verney as they race inside the final 100 yards. Another for the Jiggins Downhouse stud as Champagne Classic wins. Gordon Elliott and JJ Slevin in the Martin Pipe. Verney second in third run for Dave. Thomas Campbell and Kustar Sivala. Right, now it gets interesting. Elliot and Mullen, 6 all one to play. Gordon Elliott takes the Martin Pipe conditional jockeys handicap hurdle with Champagne Classic. And it's just been pointed out to me by Ruby Walsh that Willie Mullins has no runner in the last. So it stays at 6 all. But Gordon Elliott's won this. The colours of Jiggenstown House stud, they won it with good horses, Don Polly and Sergei Shot, and this could be another very useful prospect. JJ Slevin rides a festival winner, and the writing was on the wall from some way out. It was, he's moved into it really comfortably. Run for Dave was another.